Das Weltmeer, a unique collection of 21 photographic prints in large format collected in two portfolios by Franz Graf von Larisch Mernich. I'm Adam Douglas from Peter Harrington, and I'd like to show you these magnificent photographs, which are housed in two elephant folio uh, volumes, portfolios, with a, a rough canvas binding and the titles printed on the front. If I open this first one, volume one, we will see the way that they are presented, with these flaps inside, and some protective card at the front. And then they are loose inside with tissue guards there. And then we see these magnificent photographs, oceanic photographs, photographed from ship and shoreline. And they show various ocean waves and breakers. Uh, Larish was uh, really investigating scientifically the interaction of winds and ocean waves. He'd uh, in the 1925, he published a book, Sturmsee und Brandung, which has some of these photographs in it in reduced format. And uh, another work, which is also titled Das Weltmeer, but is, uh, again, smaller format than this, was published in Berlin with 26 photographs. That's a very rare book. The only known copy we can trace is the California State Library copy. It's uh, Sacramento. And those images were used again in 1940 in a book called Wind, Wetter and Wellen. And as we move to the second of the two portfolios, which are from the Wittelsbach Library of the Dukes and Kings of Bavaria, um, we see the more of these 21 photographic prints in large format. They're all mounted on heavy stock board. And in the second portfolio, there are also eight unmounted photographic prints, some of which are duplicates of these mounted plates. And two of the loose prints have manuscript notes in Larish's hand, including one signed by him. And they give details, the kind of scientific details that he was collecting, the time, the date, the wind speed, and the coordinates of, of where he took these photographs a really remarkable collection of photographs from the golden age of German oceanography. For a full description of this item and many other interesting early photographic items, please see the Peter Harrington website.